G'day everybody and welcome to something a little bit different. Today, I'm in the beautiful mountains of Japan. The landscapes, the scenery and the terrain are just breathtaking. We are at the infamous Nara Trial Mountain. <laughs> Japan's best off-road park. You are going to love it. Now this isn't my first ride at the rodeo, I've been here before and the trails are just magic. But the last time we were here, we were smashed by a typhoon. The weather, the trails and the driving was just insane. Now before we hit the tracks and have some fun with these little machines, let's go and meet my mate Nazumi, the park owner and an absolute legend in the Japan off-road scene. <laughs> my name is Nazumi Tuda. Now we are at my factory at Nara Trial Mountain and my shop called Tsuda Racing. My course is located at Nara Prefecture, uh, very close to Osaka. My course has many kinds of terrains, rocks and mud and the soils and the dirt road. And uh, when we take course for endurance race, about five kilometers long. And the uh, course is 500 acres something. Anyway, not two. <laughs> My mate Nozomi is Suzuki Jimny mad. Now he has actually developed a number of products made here in Japan for the little Jimnys that improve power, performance, weight, and the look of the engine bay. Now have a look at this. You've got these amazing polished intake turbo pipes. You've got a much bigger intercooler, a carbon fiber rocker cover right there, a blow off valve, and plenty more. Now whilst his passion is Suzuki's, four-wheel driving, rock crawling and off-road, this park hosts a number of events. And this weekend, we've got a motorcycle enduro happening, so let's go and check out some of that action. This weekend, we had motorcycle enduro. They took five kilometers in our facilities, and the race is two days event, and 300 more competitors coming. The race is the hardest race in Japan and the course was very, very, very hard, like huge hills and the very tough rocks and the very, very deep muds. And someone cannot finish for the first lap. Along with the endless hills, tight forest sections, deep mud and rutted awkward trails, the seemingly impassable rock sections were not surprisingly the toughest parts of this relentless enduro. With riders clambering over rocks meant for tough 4x4 rock crawlers, many were stopped in their tracks, beaten, bashed and exhausted from the physical and mental torture of tackling such an insane path. Imagine the frustration of manhandling such fast machines at a snail's pace hauling your bike by hand and pushing your limits in a race against the clock and other competitors. 
Temporary relief fell on those who survived the rocks and made it through. And whilst the nation's best riders would push hard all day just to complete two laps, the diversity of the challenges and the terrain would prove to be a punishing hindrance in themselves. This weekend was dedicated to the toughest of the tough on two wheels. This park is primarily an extreme 4x4 destination with a focus on rock crawling. I built my first rock crawler on 2004. My first sponsor wants me to build that. The first car was FJ Cruiser with uh, FJ70 chassis and uh, with Lexus motor and a four-speed transmission, and Atlas transfer case, and the Dyna 60 axles. My first competition at the US was 2005 at uh, Phoenix, Arizona. We took sixth place, our first world championship at the US. Nazumi was the first man in all of Asia to build a rock crawler and he took that to America to compete in the World Rock Crawling Championships and he placed sixth overall, which was a fantastic effort for a first timer and it set the scene for things to come. I went to Rubicon Trail and I was so impressed to be there and I brought many rocks to my property. Nazumi shipped in a huge amount of rock designed and built a number of natural rock courses, but also set up some special man-made courses with sprayed concrete. The rocks was 810 ton dump truck, and I broke the pavement road, and I almost arrested, <laughs> sued from the government. But uh, after then construction happened, government made a new road, so I didn't arrest it. Nazumi has set up a number of fantastic relationships with leading aftermarket accessory manufacturers in the US, competitors and event organisers, which has all led to him running his own series of events right here in Japan. But the property is not just for hardcore rock crawling. Companies like Toyota have tested every Land Cruiser since the 55 on this property. That means they've been tested by the engineers here across all of the terrains and signed off ready for sale. That's a massive achievement. I also love the fact that the pre-release photos and videos of the current Suzuki Jimny were taken either on this property or an island where Naozumi and his brother set up all of the tracks and did all of the driving. So guys, you've probably noticed the bandage on my arm. Well, 10 days ago, I had major elbow surgery. It's feeling good, but is it good enough to handle this beast? This old 80 series is one of the weapons they're gonna let me drive out on the trails today. The FJ80 is 15 years old and 50,000 kilometer only in my course from my boat as a new car. This is not new car, but I hope Simon will not break it. Fingers crossed guys, we are gonna have some fun and hopefully I don't add any more panel damage.
Well, how good is this? We've got our hands on an 80 series Land Cruiser. It's a 1998 model and it's been owned by Naozumi ever since new. It's been on this property for 15 years and it's done around 50,000 kilometers. Got it in low range, got a series of interesting tracks here to have a bit of a play on. So let's see if we can put this thing to the test and have a little bit of fun. I reckon we start with this easy hill climb here. Got no lockers, 35 inch tires, a little bit of a lift, but the 80 series are known for being very capable machines. Fairly shaly step up here. Good amount of rock in the terrain. She's dry, which is good. How's that? Open diffs and we are stuck already. All right, let's bump it. Let's back it up. Let's see if we have a look what we're stuck on. A tree root. Let's see if we can bump it up. A little bit more mumbo. Straight up, now onto the rocks. Oh, I'll tell you what, it is loose. We might just need to let our tyres down. I think that could be a good start. There's a fairly worn, tough old tyres. They've got strong sidewalls, so we'll let them right down, bag them right out, and see if we can get a little bit better traction. Well, that's looking a lot better. Let's give it a second crack. <laughs> We've let a stack of air out of the tyres. They're bagging nicely. Let's have another crack. Okay. Feeling a bit better to start with. The ride's certainly softer. But letting your tyres down does a lot to help. Not only does it put a lot more rubber on the ground. Oh yeah, we've walked over that first step where we got stuck last time give you a lot more traction. Well, we didn't get that far last time. Now that's a stack better. <laughs> now we're surrounded by all this beautiful, amazing rock. So how good would it be to have something small, light and nimble to have a really good solid crack at some of the lines that I can see amongst these rocks here? Well, it just so happens that our mate Nazumi, being the rock crawling legend that he is, it's got a few little surprises up in the shed for us. So let's get cracking into something a little smaller and have some fun right here on the rocks. I brought my friend, Kukumochi and Hanioka. Konnichiwa. And the Hanioka is very, very tough lady. <laughs> and Kukumochi is my number one driver. I train. I built their car in my factory from the scratch. Next, I give Samurai Rock Corolla to Simon. Samurai Rock Corolla, it has foreign suspension front and rear air shocks, specially tuned differential rocker for rock rolling, and a 1.3 motor low gear ratio transfer case. And it has front and rear dig. Rocks being the main attraction here, we just had to see how well Naozumi's rock crawlers would go. First though, let's let the professionals show us what the local experts could do. Naozumi describes Keiko Hanioka as a tough lady. Brave, passionate and happy are the first things that come to mind when you meet this energetic little fireball. And boy oh boy, could she drive. Hanioka hits the front dig right here to help pull the front around and the rear down in a controlled fashion. But as it's out of rock crawling season, a fuel line issue temporarily halted her progress. So whilst the backup team got busy on the repair, let's cross over to Saeji Fukumochi with one of Naozumi's top class single seater rock crawling buggies and see how it goes on the man-made concrete course. The 
Meiji's personality and approach is the polar opposite of Hanioka's. He's calm, calculating and in control, making full use of all of the buggy's attributes and features for tackling extreme rock crawling courses. He's making it look easy and making me think that it's about time I had a crack myself. Alright guys, this is just absolutely crazy. It's awesome enough just to have a chance to drive in a four-wheel drive, let alone <laughs> get to be playing off-road in Japan. This is my latest rock rolling buggy with the hammer photo from Jesse Haynes. And I put Mitsubishi Evo motor and new Garrett turbo. And this car has tons of horsepower and torque. But I don't like to drive. I like just building cars. But Simon forced me to drive this. <laughs> I gave Simon small show. Sure, he doesn't like to drive, but damn, Nazumi knows how to build a rock crawler and rock crawling courses. Plus, we know he is definitely the king of the rocks and can steer as well as anyone else. is this course. Okay, he's showing off a little here and testing the limits as this is a new, unfinished and untested buggy. And we're about to see that untested aspect in action. Oops, there go the two brake fluid reservoirs that had not been secured yet, but luckily that's a quick fix. How cool is that and how lucky are we to see Nazumi behind the wheel? It did take some convincing, but it was well worth it. Now back to Hanioka, who needs no convincing at all, and her eyes are firmly set on another rocky course. It's a tougher rock section that's perfect for this tough off-road girl.
let's take another look at that. We almost lost the camera. Honeyoka is killing it. I don't know what's better, watching her amazing driving or having a crack at the rocks myself. This is just crazy, guys. What a playground, what a place to play. Nara Trial Mountain in Japan, off-road in an absolutely custom off-its-face Suzuki. Guys, this thing has got front dig, rear dig, front lockers, rear lockers, Full drive high, full drive low, front and rear cutting brakes, auto. <laughs> it is just nuts. How awesome is this place, let alone the food, scenery, culture and people. You've got to join us this December for Trail Hero Japan. That's what we are here to prepare for. So what is Trail Hero? Ladies and gentlemen, check this out. Are you going to make it to Trail Hero Japan later this year? Have a crack at Hanioka here. She's got just one big rock to get off and another to get over. Wouldn't you love to be here and see the action for yourself? Have a look at her confidence, that effervescent smile, and her vibing energy. This girl is rocking it. But how is our mate Seiji going? He's back on the concrete course, showing us just how far these little rippers can go. And as you can see, it is literally anywhere. But of course, he's not the only one having fun and pushing the limits. All right, we've got a massive climb in front of us. One of the steepest climbs on this track. Rear locker on. Cut across a little bit and work our way back. If you think I'm having fun, you're damn right. This is just crazy, guys. I can't say enough about how well and how tough these buggies are built. Oh. So 
So here we see Seiji using rear dig. What is it? Basically, dig means applying drive to only one set of axles to greatly aid the vehicle in making impossibly tight turns, ascents and descents. In extreme situations, drive can be directed to the rear wheels only, with the option of locking up the fronts. This causes the rear of the vehicle to be pushed around without the front moving forward. Similarly, the rear can be disconnected and the front axles driven only to move the front of the buggy or to give greater control on a steep descent. That's front and rear dig in a nutshell. And if you keep an eye out, you'll see it being used frequently in rock crawling. Here's front dig for the descent. Followed by rear dig to spin around in the tight bowl. And it's all done with the flick of a lever that disconnects the drive at the front or rear of the transfer case. Now if you've got a keen eye, you'll notice my partner Honey out the front filming. At this stage, I've been having so much fun that I'd almost forgotten about her. She loves cars, four drives and adventure and she's a screamer. She's taking this shot right here and it's about time she had a little fun herself. So I thought my poor camera girl should get in on the action and join me in the passenger seat. Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> Shall we tip over? I'm driven, you? Really? What do you think, darling? Should we have a go at this? <laughs> Simon's driving was good. <laughs> we will have our biggest event in Japan on December 2nd and the 3rd, Trail Hero Japan 2023. I will bring 10 top drivers from US and we will cross the road and having the drifting exhibition. And we will have many events like off-road meeting and some small exhibition competition. And some big dealer in Japan have off-road testing event with us. My hometown, Uda City, will help me to use their camping park. Also, they will help me to cross the road. And finally, we can have the biggest event in Japan. We can use Kodo Monomori Park close to my facility and the park has very big parking lot and camping site and soccer court and a baseball court and we can use everything for that event. The river running through mid of the park, it is very very beautiful. Trail Hero Japan will be held on December 2nd and 3rd. We will have website and Facebook and Instagram. All news is in trailhero.com. Please come to the event. I'd like to see you. Thank you. What an awesome weekend we have had. Four wheel driving and rock crawling, testing ourselves and the vehicles and having a stack of fun along the way. Now there are a number of events that are run here throughout the year, but the one that we want to see you at is Trail Hero Japan over the first weekend of December. Contact us for more information, we'd love to see you here. Now everyone else has headed back home, and the Poor Lady series and us are still stuck down here. So we're ending this episode right here, and I've somehow got to get this off these rocks, because it definitely won't go forward, and get it out without doing too much more panel damage. Wish me the best of luck guys, we'll see you in the next episode, and hopefully we see you at Trail Hero Japan in a few months. Okay, let's see how well we go getting ourselves out of this predicament. So far, almost so good. I reckon we need to be over there. Turning on rocks is not an easy feat. We are so close. All right, looks like we are just about out. 
So there should be another episode next week. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. We'll see you on the next episode coming your way from the team here at Full Drive TV.